stream. I was honestly questioning whether I was going to stream or not. Might stream, probably, I might stream three times today. If it's a short, short stream, but... Let's go ahead, post on story. On YouTube. Should charge up my phone. Where's my phone charger at? All right, let's go ahead and get into this game. Probably going to stream for like an hour, maybe less, depending on how many people join, but most likely an hour. Hopefully everybody's having a better day than I am. I'm like, ain't. At least I got work done this morning. Kristen, this is it. The showstopper, the finale, the biggest event in racing action on the planet. Hey, what's up, Picks? So, hey, how's the day treating you? I could be better. I can overall be better. It's kind of having some uh, bad dreams that overall kept me from going back to sleep. Although it was like maybe an hour or two later I did end up falling asleep. But it was only for maybe like 20-30 minutes. It's like one thing I just don't like is when things just interfere with my sleep. Like, I don't get enough of it, so when the times I do sleep, I'm like, hey, yo, can I just have peaceful dreams? Now, 
No, it's all chilled. I'm like, I got through it before. I'll get through it again, so. I ain't tripping about it. So at the end of the day, it's like these dreams don't break me down, then most likely it's just, you know, I don't know, like a life lesson or more so making me stronger. I'm like, can I just go to the gym and work out like that make me stronger? I'm like, I don't, I don't like these life lessons because these life lessons, they just be hard for no like life. My life lessons, I say they're like on extremely difficulty with like no benefits for me and benefits for everything else. So if my life was a video game, like, I'm playing, like, freaking Dark Souls right now. It's a game I tried playing one time, and I was like, I ain't playing that game no more. That's why I stuck with racing games. I said, nah. Like, I already had my days of raging in video games. Them days ain't gonna come back out, because I'm stuck on the first level. About time I got that achievement. Okay, hit me with doubles. All right. I don't think I've been playing this game for that long, too. I still got, like, all the season stuff I need to complete, but... Wait, what? Oh, there's that. Okay, I was about to say. I was like, why are they... thought they were going to have me do, like, a... Like, a victory lap or something. Alright, uh, so all, all that's been complete. I gotta complete these, because I'm like, I, um, I bought, these are the DLCs, and I, I ain't realized, I sure forgot that I don't own this game. This is a part of, like, the Xbox Game Pass, so I gotta definitely, uh, play these and beat them and stuff, because I'm not, I'm not trying to have my money get wasted, so... Let's just go ahead and start off with that. See what cards they give me. Um, this is the best card, so I'll use that. I don't know why, how I forgot that. I don't know how I forgot that I ain't own this game. I sure I bought the DLCs, and then it was right after I bought the DLCs, and that's when it hit me, and I was like, wait a second, I don't own this game. I was just like, I bought, or I got the downloaded it for free because the Xbox Game Pass. That's what I need to do. I need to get a PlayStation because I'm like, Xbox don't be having a whole lot of good games versus PlayStation. PlayStation gives away like top tier games for free. 
Meanwhile, Xbox is giving away games that's like, ain't nobody playing that, bruh. It's like, whatever themselves were prior before, it's gonna be the same afterwards. It's like, or I could just get in the PC going, because I already have, I already have, like, the body PC, like, for, you know, for it, I just need to replace all the parts in the inside, because it's stuff that came out, like, five plus years ago. But, actually, that'd be kind of a good thing to, uh, do. Go and just get a bunch of different parts for it. So I'm like, it's a dope body. It's like the thing changes colors and all of that. And I'm like, I would really hate to get rid of it just because the things is old, so. What's up, Dark Shadow? Yeah, I'm like, I, uh... Yeah, I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, I'm thinking I'm like, you know, just testing out different times and streaming. See when everybody can join. If not, I'm like, oh, oh well, I'm just gonna still stream at like 11 a.m. and 11.30 p.m. Good at this time. Yeah. Yeah, I figure there's a lot of people working. People are in school, so. Can't join because I stream too early. Can't join because I stream too late for the second time, so. Okay, Havana. There's that. I'm here, yeah. It's always good getting them days off from work. Man, I'm telling you, I always look forward to it. Because I never, like, called out sick or was, like, oh, scheduled vacations unless it was a family trip. But other than that, I always, I always look forward to them, like, scheduled days off. I'm like, good. I can freaking stay at home and relax. That's when I was working at my old job. Now with being a content creator full time, I'm like it's a 24/7 uh, job. I switched light yesterday. Great color. I'm excited to play Nintendo games again. Yeah, I'm like, I'm either, I'm, I'm probably going to get uh, a Nintendo. Well, actually, no, because I want to get that handheld Steam thing that they're coming out with. I don't know exactly when, but I am going to probably pick up a PlayStation 4 uh, again soon because I need uh, some more games to stream. So I'm like, PlayStation, it just seems like they got like more options. I'm like, there is a lot of different games that I could stream. On my like if I did have a PlayStation Cause that's one series I would like to stream is uh, Uncharted messed up things that I'll have to start all over in those uh, games again if I were to get a PlayStation so dang but it's cool though Benefits of loving video games. You don't care how many times you guys start all over. If it's a good game, you don't care. Yeah, Nintendo. It was fun having Nintendo Switch up until they was like, oh, they just gonna surprise me with a monthly service. And I'm like, okay, I didn't realize I was gonna be getting charged. So I said, I was like, forget it. I'm not gonna. 
Because hey, it had been a while since I had played on my Switch. I had my Switch sitting in my room collecting dust. I had like one of the OG ones and then uh, stopped playing it. Then when I went back to play it, the National Air was just like, oh, you need a subscription to play these games. And I'm like, I've had these games a lot longer before they did this whole subscription stuff. So I wasn't feeling that. I didn't like that at all. I'm like, I don't know. Maybe one point in time, I might get me a Switch, but uh, I just don't like that whole subscription thing. Unless it was, like, something that came with it. If it, if I would have known of it, like, at the start, like, when I very first bought it, probably I probably wouldn't have tripped about it. But, yeah, I'm like, you got it. I'm like, I hadn't played this thing in months. I'm like, all of a sudden, I got to start paying a subscription for it? Nah. Like, they should have it where it's like, you know... People that's own it before the subscription should be allowed to just play. My thing is like, if I'm spending like two, three hundred, or however much money on a console, I'm that subscription stuff needs to stop. Like here it is, it's like Steam. They're like, oh, okay, well you already done spent like thousands of dollars on getting a gaming PC. You know, you ain't we ain't gonna charge y'all no subscription to play games and stuff. Especially when you guys aren't even the one. I can understand maybe if it was a subscription for like Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo games. But all them other games, you shouldn't need a subscription to play it. Sub Hamza. Instead, they're like, nah, let's just randomly charge people. And I'm like, I ain't trying to get charged for no video games. I'm like, I'm going to be playing half them games. Bringing back Nintendo 64 games, Sega Genesis, and putting them in pass on the Switch. $50 now add more games to the past in the future I'm like maybe if uh um I don't know if they add like oh the OG Mario that I played back in the Nintendo 64 I, I probably would consider it because there's a lot of games I used to play back in the Nintendo 64 and I'm like if they add like a lot I mean like 007 there are some other games I played on the Nintendo 68 I'll probably consider it Start to finish. That's nice. Yeah, I saw she was uh, streaming for a long period of time. Twenty fifth of this month. Okay. Yeah, I'm like they they're gonna need to do that because having it where it's like we're playing these new games, we've been playing it for all this time, and it's like you ain't even trying to add no new stuff. I'm not with that. So. Is a list. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have to. I'll check it out. I'll check it out see what games they add if it's some games i'm like oh, okay that's dope i can i'll consider it i'll consider getting a nintendo switch but if not then i'm like yeah just have it where i could just play mario kart online and i'm like because that'll probably be the only game i really play a lot of guys are probably hearing my laptop because it's a guy like this microsoft or xbox app so be a little bit delayed with achievements. can I use for this Aston Martin Aston Martin's the best car I should just yeah go ahead 
purchase. I got $22 million in this game, so I might as well purchase it. I ain't feeling that color, though. They made it, like, like black or something cool. I don't know. It's like an old retro look, but on a modern car. I don't get that. That looks so weird. Like, baby blue. I'm like, baby blue is such, like, a retro look or color. So like every time when I see one of these cars, I always think of uh, that movie Ford versus Ferrari. That's a pretty good movie for those that ain't never watched it. Definitely recommend it. 64. 60 car 64. Oh, confirm. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. They Mario 64 because to me, that was the best Mario. I mean, the, the Wii version that they came out with was good too, but... Yeah, Mario 64 was the Mario Kart 64 is the best Mario. But Mario 64, that was that was a good game too. I remember playing that game a little bit. So I'm like, I I'll consider getting another Nintendo Switch. I did see one at GameStop, so I don't know if they still got it up there, but I did see they had one, but it was, like, used. But I was like, I don't care. Clean it up. It's something, I'm telling you, like, GameStops, I go and buy, I buy a game from there one day. That game, that case was so dirty. I'm like, fam, y'all could have just threw the case away and just gave me the disc. I'm like, that was freaking disgusting. I'm like, I didn't even play that game because I didn't even want to open up the case. I just let it sit there and collect dust and then trade it right back into GameStop's. I'm like, hey, yo, clean these games. I'm like, that would make no sense. Online play, which is even better. Online. Oh, that is pretty dope. That would be pretty dope. Yeah, Mario 64 was, uh, that was the, to me, that was the better, um, Mario. I played that Mario day and night when I was a kid. I think that was the one, that was the game I was playing, too. There was an earthquake that happened, like, Years and years and years ago when I was a kid in uh, Washington State. And I think that was the Mario game I was playing. Mario Kart 64. Then it was like, I think a few years later, my dad got me a PlayStation 2. I didn't even know what Nintendo 64 was anymore after he got me that. Games used to be dirt cheap back then. I'm like, Damn, that's the price that games need to be. They need to be PlayStation 2 prices. Like twenty dollars and forty dollars.
bruh. Come on, man. It is not raining that hard outside. See, like, like his color is all nice, and then they gave me this old, like, weird retro-looking color. Like, color gonna be gone if you don't stop driving in front of me. Out the way. I like, drive it out. Alright. Next time I'm just gonna start ramming cars. I swear I am. Cars always do that in this game when they drive out in front of you. I'm like, if I ram you, don't let that thing pop up talking about oh such and such is your rival now. I'm like, nah, they don't know how to drive. It's like, yeah, let, let me let me do another race, please. Somebody definitely gonna get ran. And we're heading into the final round now, where it'll all be decided. Chris, sorry, race control are about to get this underway. It's like if I mess this car up, oh well. So I am telling them cars need to move. Still get people to spam. Not so much spamming, but I'm like, when people just go and just leave a comment saying, hey, can you react? Like, I didn't post a whole video and they're like, hey, can you react to this? I'm like, then people get like bad at me because I call people out on that. And I'm like, I don't take reaction requests. I don't know how many times I got to say that. Like, like, I don't take them in streams, I don't take them in videos, social media. That's when they really started annoying me was when people was messaging me on social media talking about, hey, can you react to these videos? I'm like, no. Like, damn, I don't have a social media account, so it could be an easier way for people to send me reaction requests. I just react to whatever now. I don't just, I don't be reacting or taking in requests. I'm like, I, I see the same website everybody else sees, so I'm like, trust me, whatever video you're recommending, I'll either come across it eventually, one day, today, tomorrow, but I don't need people to like spam my comments or you not even that, but just comments saying, hey, react to this, react to this. Like, I'll react to it on my own time. It's like people, then they get offended by that. They get all upset. And then they're like, we're just trying to, um, no, y'all just trying to nothing. Like, if I, like, if I make, if I make my own request, I'm like, bruh, respect it. I'm like, I don't take in reaction requests. I don't do that no more. I used to. If I do one of those videos where I'm like, hey, comment a video that you want me to react to, then all right, yeah, sure. But I'm like, if not, I'm like, bruh, like. It's like these cars, man, they, they just think they own the whole road. Nah. It's like you gonna move out the way. It's like, see, I'm trying to turn in that area and then they're gonna try to drive out in front of me. It's like, nah, it's like, move out the way. You won't get hit. Oh, this person. Oh, okay. Now nah, I got some for you. 
It's like, that's the race up for the both of us. Like, who's gonna win this? Me or you? Like, I get tired of cars doing that in this game. Like, clearly, see, I'm trying to drive in that way they want to drive out in front of me. But yeah, it's like, anybody mad or offended by that, me not taking any reaction requests, I'm like, that's a you problem. Ain't got nothing to do with me. I've said it many times before, I don't take any reaction requests. I don't take that stuff in in streams. I don't take it in in videos, social media, a letter by mail, like little note things strapped to a bird's foot. Like, I don't take in any form of a reaction request. Like I react to I'm on the same website everybody else is on, so I'll see the videos and react to it whenever. It's like people act like I ain't got like 35 other YouTube channels. Yeah, like, I'll ask, and I'm like, then that's why I'm like, okay, you know, people can uh, uh, comment what they want me to react to. But if not, I'm like, if I just posted the reaction video, I'm expecting feedback on that video. I'm not expecting people to comment, oh, uh, react to this. Like, just completely ignoring the video I just uploaded, just so they can comment their reaction requests. I'm like, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Like, you may see that video as nothing, but I'm like, me, I see that video as, like, I spend time throughout the day to entertain people in that audience. So I'm like, last thing I want to see is, you know, I get a new comment on that video. I'm thinking, oh, okay, somebody's talking on the funny part in that video. Like, I could talk about how I do a giveaway and nobody will watch it and they still will comment, like, a reaction request. So that's, I'm, yeah, I just, like, I've said numerous times before, I've asked, not, not even so much as, like, ask. But it's just all the amount of channels that I've promoted and videos that I've done and people still just be, you know, commenting. I'm, no, I'm like, it's just like disregarding the fact that I just posted a video and I'm like posting multiple videos just for somebody to comment, react to this. I'm like, nah. Then when I ask them, like, talk on the video that you're commenting on, they're like, cool video. Can you react to it? I'm like, that's not commenting on the video. It's like, I can tell you didn't even watch the video. And it's like, YouTube will, like, show you and let you know, like, what parts of the videos people be watching. So I'm like, I know you guys ain't watching the video. I'm like, shout out to the ones that are. But I'm like, the ones that just, you just comment after, like, a minute after the video's been uploaded. And it's a 15-minute video. How you know it's a cool video and you just, wa um, just clicked on it and it just got uploaded? seeing your kind yeah i'm like bruh like people that's why that's why i'm like look if it's people that be commenting and talking on the videos and they actually watch it then i'm like oh, okay now i'll respond to those comments but if you ain't like oh you want to be first or you want to be i don't care about any of that it's like don't nobody care if you're first people want to you know know about like oh, okay you, like feedback on the video not hate but like actual fans and actual people watching the videos and you know just commenting jokes and things i say i'll say so many different things in videos people don't catch on to it because they're so busy trying to comment the next video they want me to react to People think that, oh, it's, you know, you shouldn't be mad about stuff like that. It's like, I am. It's a content creator. You expect people. It's like, my thing is, like, you think, like, if a restaurant owner, they put a, a new food out on the menu, and somebody's all like, oh, you guys should start serving this. Y'all should start serving lobster and steak. And it's a, like, and it's a, uh, like, a vegan restaurant or a salad, like, based restaurant. It's like, nobody's not trying to, like, hear that. I'm like go to somewhere you go to the people that serve that type of stuff and go there and that's like with youtube go to the people that make those types of videos and go to their uh channel and comment that stuff
So I'm pretty sure I've talked on it before. I'm like, it's just people. I'm like, you know, that's how they carry on. That's how they carry on. I'm like, you know, I at the end of the day, I, I'm still not going to take in any of that stuff. So I'm like, I'll just, you know, react to whatever, whatever I come across on uh, YouTube. I knew that was a Ferrari. I can tell by it. I swear, I'll get notifications about some of the most randomest stuff. There's no vaccine. Yeah, because people would join my stream and be like, oh, you should go over there and do this, or go, go. I'm like, bruh, if you have 40 or $50, a console, a controller, two eyes, two hands, play the game yourself. It's like, do not join my stream trying to tell me how to play a game. It's like, I've been... I'm 25 years old and been playing games probably like a good, like what, portion of my life. I know how to play video games. People do that stuff thinking I'd like, I, that like, honestly, I, cause outside of this, I'm like, I'm not, you know, playing against people, but when I start playing other games, I'm gonna like put that in there. I'm like veteran gamer, which means I don't need no assistance. People do that stuff and I'm like, bro, like. Go play the game yourself. Why are you thinking I assume that you... I'm trying to hear with you how to play the game. I know how to play the game. I bought the game because I know how to play the game. It'll be stuff like this where they're all like, Oh, you should use this uh, car because that car is fat. I'm like, I want to use this. It's like, what game? Oh, it's uh, um, uh, Generation Zero. It's this like, game where you're killing robots and stuff. People constantly join my stream talking about, oh, do you need help? I'm like, nah, I'm good. Well, you should go and do this mission because it. I don't want to do that mission. I'm not even in that area. I think the craziest was a guy I was playing Forza and the guy was trying to, like, get me to buy some cars off of him. And I'm like, bro, no. I'm like, I'm not buying cars off. Then he got mad and he was like, you need to calm down. I'm like... I banned him. I was like, nah, you ain't gonna join my stream talk about calm down. You out here trying to sell me some cars. I'm like, play the game, get the money, and buy whatever car you want to buy. I'm trying to have people buy some cars from you. Been gaming since I was four or five. Backseat, tell me. Can you? Yeah, exactly. I'm like, bro, I don't need nobody to tell me how to play a game. So I've been playing, I've been playing the game like, yeah, roughly the same age too. I think I either started... Because I'm trying to think, I was living in Rainier, Washington, I think I was either like 2 or 3, and that's when I got into like playing stuff on the Nintendo 64. And so that's why I'm like, you know, when I have somebody like just sitting there like, oh, do this, do I'm like, no. I'm like, let me play the game how I want to play it. That's the whole reason of buying, buy no game. It's like my thing is like, because Twitch hasn't been out forever. So what was I doing prior beforehand? I was playing video games, of course. But how was I? I wouldn't have nobody sitting behind my neck like, I don't need nobody to backseat and tell me how to play a game. I'm like, I know how to play it. I know how to shoot a gun in the game. I know how to drive a car. I know how to do everything else in the video game. Why? Because I've been playing games since I was literally an infant. It's like people do that. And I'm like, why, why do you assume do, do, if... If I said, like, oh, I'm brand new, that's the thing. Like, if I'm playing a game for the first time, 
I'll let people know that. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I need help. Like, they're the type of people where it's like they see you, like, in a classroom just with your head down. Like, just I've been doing the schoolwork. They come up from behind you saying, oh, no, do the answer this like this or do the question like this so you can get this type. I'm like, bro, go go sit back in your desk, man. Just, just, just go. Get away from me. But yeah, that one guy I was playing for us and he's trying to sell me some cars. I'm like, bro, ain't nobody trying to buy no cars. Like, oh, then the one guy, that guy, man. That's why I don't really like playing that game anymore. But there's this, uh, um, I yeah, you've seen me play before, The Division 2. And that guy would constantly, like, join my stream anytime when I'm playing that game just to tell me how to play it. And he's just like, oh, your builds aren't good. Or, no, you need to do this, mister. You need to do things like this. I'm like, bro... I banned him. I there's I think there is a day where I just I was not having a good day and he joined my stream trying to tell me how to play the game and then start going off about that build stuff and I said I was like, you know what? Nah, forget that. I banned that dude. I'm like, you ain't gonna join my stream every single time while I'm playing this game, talking about oh this is how you play the division, you gotta do this. I'm like, do you even play I'm like you probably didn't spend more time in my stream telling me how to play the game than you actually playing the game. Exactly. Yeah, I'm like, nah. I'm like, you go, you can kindly get, like, not even kindly, you can unkindly get banned. Because I'm like, people, they do that stuff. And I'm like, man, ain't nobody trying to, like, learn how to play a game they already know how to play. That's why I like playing single player games, man. I don't like playing multi four games where people be trying to tell me what to do and stuff. Hey, there you go. Congrats on that, uh, wholesome. Walmart, I feel like, is a good spot to be at because it's big. You can legit be in there, like, because Walmart got them quiet areas. I remember when I went to go pick up my Xbox Series X, and there was this area of Walmart I've never seen it before. And it was so quiet and peaceful over there. I might just go up to Walmart just so I could go to that little quiet and peaceful area. It was like the, I think it was, it wasn't even like, it wasn't even the Super Walmart. It was just one of the regular size ones, which is already big itself. I'm like, that's not, it's funny how they say like they got Walmart and then they got Super Walmart and literally like Super Walmart and Walmart, it's like roughly the same size. Just a little bit more added to it. So I don't, I don't, I don't smoke. You, you can smoke. I don't smoke. Plus, your weed might be laced with Cheez-Its and freaking uh, car oil. In that area. No, I'm saying, I please, forget working. I have been taking a nap. They have found me, like, hidden in the bottom shelf, just straight, just snoozing. They probably, I got tapped on my shoulder. They were like, yeah, you could clock out now. I'm like, no, nah, because I still got a couple more hours. They're like, no, nah, no, nah, clock out. We'll send you your last paycheck. I'm like, dang, it's like that. I'm like, you guys shouldn't have this area so quiet then. You guys need to put like a mechanic shop or something back here where it's loud. Yeah, I was like Walmart. Shout out to Walmart because they helped me get an Xbox Series X. So that's why I'm like, that's why I always got like a love for Walmart. Yeah, you gonna get fired. So I would recommend you keep that to yourself. I don't know why you always assume people are gonna be into that shake. They're not. It's like spoiler alert. Like people ain't into that shake. Who's that? I think I told my mom about that. And she gave me the most oddest look. Like, 
what is a bacon milkshake so that's how i knew i'm like somebody that's from down south also and she ain't never heard of it but she knew she would never try no stuff like that it's like not everybody likes a bacon milkshake no nobody's lives need to be changed you changing people's lives for the worse putting that stuff in there i'm like i would not eat that drink in under any circumstances Put me on well, yeah that's why it was limited because there's like yeah ain't nobody it probably was a permanent thing and then they switched it to limited because they were like oh nah people ain't feeling this so you want blended cheese but yeah blended cheese when i could just eat the cheeseburger just whole what am i blending it for It's like certain things that just don't need to be done when it comes to food. And I'm like, yeah, blending food like that, they don't need to they don't need to do that. Dang, was that the final race? I was I was driving one of these Formula One cars, so these races usually do go by pretty quick. Oh yep, I'm definitely using the Corvette. They got any other cars I can use? No. All right, well, Corvette it is. No, I'm not. I'm not trying it. So we this gonna be the the final day of me trying to put that idea. No, it's never gonna happen. And here we are for the first round, Kristen. How are you feeling about this one? The opening race, and I guess we will see who is out there to feel after. Just finished watching. Well, scary movie. Dang it, I messed up. Well, yeah, scary movie ain't meant to be scary. I bet people were actually did think that. I'm like, you did not see Marlon and Sean Wayne's on the cover of that movie. I'm like, you should know right off the jump, any movies that they're in, it's not going to be serious. Right. So, yeah, I can hit cars, too. I was like, yeah, it was like, besides them, like, writing and producing the movie, they had a lot to do with those movies. And I don't know, they either sold the rights or stopped doing it once it got to three. I'm like, nah, y'all should have continued. Sign him. But yeah, you, yeah. You got to do a little uh, research on the Waynes brothers. They did a lot more stuff than just white chicks. Them family, that's like a legacy that they done built from the ground up with all the movies they done did. It's like, besides them, they got like a couple of older brothers and did a lot of different movies too. I think the oldest, I think he was behind the scary movies. I think one and two, I don't know about the rest. I don't think he was behind the rest of them. I think he sold the rights. Nah, they were much more fan. Like, White Chicks would probably be their best movie. But they were, bruh, they did a lot of stuff prior before that. They had a 90s TV show. They did some movies in the 80s. They did a lot of movies in the 90s. Then uh, the two brothers from White Chicks, Sean and Marlon Wayans, then they had their own TV show in the 90s. Yeah, those guys did a lot of different stuff besides White Chicks. So I'm like, yeah, you got to, you know, read about them because those guys, they, uh, they, they, and it's, bro, there's so many Waynes, like, they got, um, Damon Waynes, he did My Wife and Kids, Keenan Ivory Waynes, he's the oldest of them, he's like the head honcho then did a bunch of different movies and TV shows, then all the other ones, they're just, you know, all actors and stuff, but yeah, they all got a line of movies that them guys then did, it's all been good. Was it? Yeah, those guys did a lot of movies. 
White Chicks isn't their only... Because I knew of those guys prior before White Chicks. So when I seen that movie, I was like, it was cool. I'm like, I did like the other movies, but I'm like, yeah, White Chicks is cool. They keep talking on a sequel. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, guys, gonna mess around and get to a point in time where you're too old to do a sequel. Like, look at the cast members of uh, Friday. It's like half them cast members then passed away from the original Friday, and I'm like, man, it's just it's it's messed up when people they take forever to do these movies. And I'm like, bruh, it's like people ain't getting any younger. It's like you gotta do this movies like as soon as possible. races i got it. three races all right so after this race i'm gonna go ahead in this stream because i did say it's gonna be a short stream you know it sucks and honestly it does i was like man like turning 25 like bro it doesn't even feel like i you know that i am 25 i actually feel like younger like compared to high school me i'm like i feel like i got more energy than high school me but I think it's because I'm more active and I've been working out a lot recently. I think that's why I feel like that. Because high school me, he was lazy. Can't say it like I used to. I can. I can. It just depends on, like, if I'm doing something. Like, back then, because I remember when I would stay up, I would just only watch TV. I will only watch, the, I'll watch TV for the whole night. Now I'm like, nah, if I'm just sitting down watching TV and like, nah, I know I'm going to fall asleep. But if I'm like recording videos or streaming or, you know, working on some stuff, then that's, that's what can keep me up the whole night. Five years when we turn three. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, it, it's just, that's something I'm like, dang, I really am going to be 30 years old. It doesn't even seem like it. it doesn't even seem like I should be turning 30 in five years. It doesn't even seem like I should be 25 now. is no oh no that's gonna i'm just trying to think where's my mentality at my mentality i don't know i feel like it's like like my like graduation years of high school i honestly think that's where i'm at well that's actually no no i remember i did take a mental test when i was in high school and they said i was like 30 some years old still good to hear wait I, yep that's no that's true Yeah, all them different foods and stuff you be eating. I'm like, bro. Even when I was in middle school, I wasn't eating no weird combos like that. But yeah, I did that was one of those like mental age tests and they said I was like thirty something. I think they said I was like thirty five or thirty six. I did that, I was like, dang, I you know, I guess I am. But at the same time, I kind of like look at it now. I'm like, that wasn't good. Because I was like, if that was my mental age when I was in high school, then I'm like, I should have been doing a lot. More so like with just like, you know, career goals and stuff.
you could go on the website and just just search up like mental age tests and you can uh do one you ain't gotta like go out nowhere to uh do it still i man if it if it says some stuff like that i kind of i probably would have like got into like hacking hacked a website and just had it where uh the rick world song played every time somebody would go to that website website it's been years i i don't remember that i did that test when i was in high school i don't remember the um name i barely remember things from last week i'm like i gotta go all the way back that far back to high school like nah there's at times i see um freaking kids from high school and i'm like i don't remember y'all they'll walk up to me all like oh yeah i see you be doing the youtube stuff i'm like who are you like what school did you go to then i look online and see i've been friends with them for like 10 years i'm like oh i guess i guess i do know them that's because that's the thing i'm like i'm the only one from high school that hasn't like physically changed I still look the same. I have to say I've like gotten a little bit uh bigger, more so with muscle, but like other than that, I'm like I still look the same. So I have gotten slightly bigger and I got facial hair. And we're heading into the final round. It stays raining in this game. So this is the best car in the whole game, is this Corvette. Like, I have yet to spin out. I have yet to crash into some. I mean, although I have, but not as much. Not as much as the other cars. Like, this car got freaking top-tier handling. That's like the one thing though, they got the new Corvettes. The new Corvettes don't even look like this no more. They just, they look so different. They look more like supercars that should be doing 200 and something miles per hour down the road. And I'm like, nah, it's just a Corvette.
Okay, sworn I did three laps. I guess one more lap. But yeah, I'm like, I, I definitely have like, I've changed for the better, like, for, you know, since high school. High school, I remember I would like exercise. I'd get tired too easily. I remember doing the like mild test and feeling like I was going to pass out. That was because I wasn't drinking water. I didn't start drinking water until after I graduated from high school. So there was that. Uh, what other things? I was just eating like a bunch of just like you know whatever foods i'll just eat a crap ton of it wouldn't gain no weight whatsoever i was like a hundred i think i was like a hundred and twenty or thirty pounds when i graduated i think i was like 130 when i graduated i think i had uh like especially yeah as I was all like, I um uh got Fiji water, bought that Fiji water bottle for the first time, and I was like, oh, I like water now. I was like, this is what I've been missing out on, bruh. Yeah, I'm like, gotta get you some Fiji water. was it there's like no more it better not be all like oh surprise race now am i gonna level wow that close to leveling up it's like close to 70 drinking water bro gets 100k views wow that's kind of man that's cr well actually no no that don't surprise me because there was the uh um, the one guy, uh, like his wife, uh, freaking, uh, Michael Green, the guy that, the son of Angry Grandpa, I remember when his, uh, when his wife had very first got into YouTube and when she created her own channel, she did a video of herself eating a cabbage and got, like, a crap ton of views off of it, so, nah, people, people be doing that. Good, Brent. Like, has, like, Jord, for Jord? Um, and, but yeah, they, uh, um, yeah, people do stuff like that. I guess maybe, I don't know, maybe you might consider it like water ASMR or something. I don't know. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead, call it a day with this stream. I appreciate everybody for showing up. This was, uh, oh, and you hosted this, the Dark Shot. I apologize for not, uh, shouting you out for the host because I had my laptop uh computer the volume down so I didn't hear the notification thing go off so but no shout out to uh Dark Shadow for the uh uh, uh host seen they had kids yeah I saw that I, I follow them on social media so I see a lot of different things that they post like that they got married what other stuff have they posted yeah of course they got like what like a couple of kids now because i remember they had one kid before and they had they might have had a third one i don't know i didn't see all that but yeah i was like i see they got like um they got like a couple of kids now i thought that was pretty crazy i thought that's actually kind of cool but anyways i will talk to y'all later stay tuned for tonight's stream and uh yeah talk to y'all later peace